Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Today I thought I would upload something a little different. Different from the usual card openings of the Star Wars and Space Flight. Here I have a Revel 187th scale model of a Union Pacific 4000 class that I put together over the past uh, couple weeks. and Finally, I've got to the point where I painted it, coated it in a gloss black and a light gray for the smoke box, and I uh, figured why not try some weathering techniques? In addition to spaceflight and Star Wars, I'm also a big train guy, and I have always enjoyed railroading and, and train watching and all that. And just recently, a couple weeks ago, my wife and I caught the Union Pacific 4014 as it rolled through the south, and uh, it was quite the sight to behold. I figured why not go ahead and do a build a model kit, try out some weathering techniques, and give it that old dusty look like it's been working hard. I actually already have a few models of, uh, of the big boy in HO scale, one from Athern and one from River Rossi. And they're both uh, quite nice, the Athern especially, but uh, I'm not ready to uh, take the paintbrush to them yet. Uh, I don't have an airbrush, so I can't really do that in the apartment. So I figured uh, doing this dry brushing technique I've used on other model kits, like uh, tanks and things like that. I actually really enjoy building model kits, and uh, it's just sort of relaxing. So I figured I would go ahead and just put out this video, uh, speed it up a little bit, do a little voiceover, and uh, we'll see what we end up with. I am going to avoid putting any paint around the cab, and eventually I'll get to the tender as well, but I won't put any paint on those because I'm waiting to get some decal softener, some microsol to set the decals properly since there's a lot of rivets, and so I'm not going to do any painting there until I can get those decals uh, applied. But yeah, for the most part I'm just using some 50 cent acrylic paint from your standard craft store sort of bottles and it's just uh, a light gray. Uh, I, use, I use a tan and a raw sienna to get that dusty look. I really wanted to go for that hardworking, hasn't gone through the wash rack yet. It's just been climbing up Sherman Hill all day and is uh, looking like it needs a, needs a wash.
anyone familiar with this particular Revel model kit knows that it has the handrails for both the front of the smoke box and the sides of the boiler um, and on the tender uh, are molded in place and they just look huge and chunky and for most people building this model just as a model to build it's probably fine for me it was a little too noticeable so I actually went ahead and carved those off with a modeler's chisel and you can kind of see well, you can really see the uh, the couch marks and someone with more patience would probably take some filler putty and go ahead and fill those gouge marks in and sand it down and make it look nice but that really wasn't my goal for this particular build so I just wanted to remove those chunky handrails and I'll end up replacing it with some actual brass wire and some stanchions but it should look a lot better than how the kit originally looks.
have it. I think that's a good stopping point there. Of course, as I mentioned, I still have to do the sides of the cab, but first those decals need to be applied. And uh, we've got the tender next to do. I'm not going to include that on this video. It really just needs its decals, and then it will get the same sort of weathering treatment as the rest of the locomotive got. But for now, I think that's a good stopping point. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.